Okay, man, we're live. So we just saw the uh, World of Warcraft uh, cinematic and the gameplay reveal of what the fuck was that, man? Oh man, Battle for Azeroth, I gotta tell you, this is getting me super excited. I've been waiting for a Horde and Alliance clash for yeah, Blizzard. Years. Take my money. Now, take my money. But it didn't show when, did, when it's gonna be available. No, uh, maybe they're gonna show it later with the What's Next panel. I suppose they're gonna give us more details. So far, so good. The contents of the expansion seem really cool, really nice. What do you think of the Cold Terras and the Zandalar zones? Man, it's, I don't know, it's something like a sort of a first. I thought it was the main zone, the Cold Terras, because of the leaks and all that stuff. I thought that was like the main thing everybody's gonna go to. But uh, apparently, it's different this time. Like, each race is gonna have their zone and probably gonna battle it out somewhere in the ocean. I don't know, man. But one question, though. Who's the villain? Do we have a villain? I don't know, but... That's actually really interesting. It's a really interesting <laughs> question. I don't think we have a villain. I think that's actually great. We don't need a villain to unite the Alliance and Horde against. We don't need that. We want an Alliance versus Horde thing. I think right. this is really cool. I think Sylvanas is in a good path. I think that the trailer didn't probably show this, but she's probably going to order the retreat, sacrifice Sunder City for the sake of the Horde. I think that's if that's what's going to happen. Ah, oh, man, I got to tell you. I mean, Sylvana's definitely inspired, like, you know, War Chief type stuff <laughs> on that cinematic. And can we agree that was the Alliance attacking the Undercity? Yeah, definitely. Taking back Lordaeron? Because we know about the leak, the logo of the Lordaeron. Pretty sure we're going to take back Lordaeron and that stuff is going to happen. But what do you think are war fronts? War fronts? Well, actually, uh, without too much information, I think this has to do with the zones that each uh, faction is going to be in. I assume part of the zones are going to be contested and you're, I don't know, maybe you're going to invade Zandalar as lands and Kulturas as Horde. Yep. Maybe the zones are, the borders are not going to be set in stone. I think that can be really cool. Maybe some PvP action. That sounds really amazing. I'm I'm waiting to see. <laughs> it looks like, a little bit garrison but... Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just like so hyped right now. I can't even put my thoughts together. That cinematic was insane. Now, the, the thing with the Warfronts is definitely going to be something like PvP-like, and I'm, I'm hoping to do something different than everything, anything they did prior to this expansion. But um, they said new dungeons over there, and raids and stuff like that, but if this is like focused mainly on Alliance versus Horde, how do you think that will pan out? I actually thought about that when uh, when they showed uh, Cool Terras and Zandalar. Um, I, I, the first thought that, that came to my mind was like, each zone is the raid for the other faction. Although this, this sounds a little bit exclusive for each individual faction, but yeah. that can be really cool. That's cool. Really cool. I'll, I'll like, buy that. Like a raid is the zone of the other faction that you have to do, like yeah. fights, PvE wise. That sounds amazing. I don't know if that's going to be it, but if they can pull that off, that's new. That's, that's going to change a lot of things. Oh man, and race kept the level is going to get to 120. Now, one, one question remains, and I think people asked about this previously before all the leaks and stuff. What do you think will happen to all our artifacts? Um, well, I've, um, I've been looking at the Q&A with Ian Hezekostis, I think that's how you pronounce that. Oh, they're spot uh, on, my friend. <laughs> they're, uh, they're working on uh, keeping the appearance for the artifacts. Some mm. of them, like the uh, Mage Tower Challenge, unless you've done it, it won't be available anymore. They're definitely going to transition some of the, the things that we work with. I mean, come on. A lot of people worked a lot of months for all of that artifact power and uh, the skins of the weapons. That's really yeah. cool, man. Like, having all those appearances, I think they're going to be transmogs. Don't forget the grind. There was hell of a grind <laughs> for that artifact. Okay, but I, I cannot, you know, not bring this up. Remember when they announced Mist of Pandaria? Remember they yeah. said that it's going back to blue versus red and all of that? That's what I thought. Yeah, I mean... If they, they're gonna do some sort of, okay, there's a villain outside and everything's gonna be focused on red and blue, which in Pandaria didn't really happen that much. I didn't no, really no. Fit, except for one patch where it was all, you know, uh, fighting each other, there was not really. Do you think this is gonna be like 100% Alliance versus Sword and, you know, at some point a villain pops up again and we have to go again, you know, shake hands, let's fight him? Or do you think it's gonna be different this time? I've been thinking a lot about this. Um, obviously, when I saw the trailer for the uh, Mischief Pandaria, I thought, oh my god, this is finally! Horde mm -hmm. Alliance are, are gonna battle my Warcraft 3 fantasies are gonna come true. Yeah. But um, the way they showed Legion and the way they've um, executed Legion's patches and everything, it le leads me to believe that it's not going to be uh, like Pandaria is going to be 100% Horde versus Alliance, no more universal bosses that we need to uh, team yeah. up against. I think this is going to be new, fresh. Um, a lot of gray areas No, okay, this is the bad guy, this is who we have to fight. No, uh, the other faction is the bad guy. We want a home as Horde, 
you lost the home as a lion, so I think this is going in a really interesting direction. Okay. Well, now let's just uh, let's just focus on on these two elements. I think this in the cinematic specifically, this was like the the most epic moment. So first off, we have Sylvanas who turns into a banshee or something, oh screams my God. out for the horde and then stuff. What what do you think that means? What what is that? What 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 can re that represent for like a class or something? Uh, as a fellow horde player at heart, <laughs> that actually spoke to me. When I saw her, uh, she did the banshee. I was like a little bit scared. It was a little bit shadowy and voidy, yeah, but. Yeah. Then she yelled for the horde, and it really felt like she meant it. So I think, yeah. like all of those, um, all of those shady thoughts, like, oh my God, is Sylvanas working with any dark forces against everybody else? No, I think she's fully dedicated to War Chief. I think she's the War Chief that we never expected her to be, because nobody thought Sylvanas is going to take this seriously. Everybody thought, oh, she has her own agenda. But no, I think she's going to be like one of, kind of like a redemption thingy. But she's going to be full-fledged War Chief. She's going to prove everybody wrong. Because we all know Blizzard likes those yeah. turnarounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, as a fellow Alliance player, I was like absolutely shocked at the armor of Rin. I, I didn't thought it was Anduin over there. I think it's like he was, you know, a little bit too more girly girl to have that type of armor. But that was like amazing. Yeah. Now, what truly spoke to the Alliance vibe is like, okay, I drop my sword, heal everybody up. Let's let's do this. Let's fight. I mean, that was like the, the Sylvanas thing and the, the Anduin thing. That was just amazing. But let's let's try to wrap it up. So as we talked, everybody saw in the background what was happening and stuff. There's more to to come on Definitely. our channel. Uh, we're gonna talk about you know what's next on World of Warcraft, then Heroes of the Storm, possibly even more. But you know it's kind of a rat race around here. So hope you guys enjoyed. Okay. Yeah, guys, take care. Peace. Bye bye.